I wanted to be really transparent in this video on how I went from this to this. Something finally worked and it didn't include being so hard on myself. I'm doing this video because I wish someone had shared with me these things that literally have changed my life and allowed me to lose 20 pounds. After having a lot of health issues with my breast implants, I could not for the life of me take the weight off. I tried everything, dieting, working out, even sleeping better, but what I realized is I lacked three things. Today we're chatting community, systems, mental shift. I'll even share with you my favorite healthy junk food, which yes, has allowed me to lose the weight and still enjoy my life. Of course, I'm not a nutritionist, so please take my advice with a grain of salt. And if your pride goes, ask your doctor and physician. I know that weight is a very personal thing, which is why if this is at all triggering to you, please don't torture yourself and don't watch. Is this okay? Do, 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 do. Keep things cash. Just chat like girlies. Hey guys. I want to keep this conversation really casual because I know that for many, including myself, this was a very triggering conversation. I simply just wanted to share it with you because I learned a lot. And a lot of this really is just knowledge. I teach you. I put on my professional outfit today. Feeling fabulous. Feeling cute. Both me and my husband have both lost weight. I have lost 15 pounds. 15 pounds men and their weight loss compared to women. Oh, doesn't it just anger you? Especially when you're trying to lose weight simultaneously with your husband. One of the first things that really, really helped me in losing weight is finding a community of people. I'm literally on a group chat with 22 people. Why this was so successful is because it really helped me in finding a teammate to keep me accountable. Where we're all texting each other, hey, when are you going to the gym? You haven't showed up in a bit. Great job for today's workout. Hey, you killed it today. It's kind of like reinforces the dopamine rush that we need after a big sweat session. First rule of weight loss is burn more than you consume. Duh. You gotta move that ass. You gotta move it. I don't want to be at the gym for an hour. I don't want to be at the gym for an hour and a half. So that was not working for me. So what I found that really worked is 45 minute really high intensity workouts. I also do rock climbing. So I wanted to bring Dennis into this because he has been an integral part in my weight loss journey. One of the first things that he recommended me to get is an Apple watch. So Natalie uses an Apple watch and I use a Garmin watch. Basically calculates your steps of the day. I always try to get in 10 thousand steps a day. I burn 300 calories a day. It says here because that's my I don't even walk that much. That's crazy. Yeah. Jupiter just finds the worst spots to put his head in. I wanted to mention this app because it really has helped us in like our journey. Okay. My fitness pal. I didn't know what protein was for. I didn't know what carbs were for. I didn't know what fat was for. First day that I did this, I was, I felt so constricted. I cried. Okay. It was really sad. I cried because I realized how much I was consuming. For example, we would have these bowls of oatmeal. We laugh now because we say that we literally gained weight off oatmeal. <laughs> we had way too much almond butter, way too much avocados. I was consuming nuts as like little snacks. Not that they're bad, but once you put them into the app, you'll see that there needs to be some kind of balance. My fitness taught me about serving sizes. Me too. Like we're eating good. If you're interested in a follow-up food video, we'd be happy to do what we eat in a day for weight loss. I think we can get into like the nitty gritty. Chef Dennis is the one that cooks. Next tool, a scale. I know. I know what you're thinking. Sometimes you'll actually be shocked how much more you could eat of something. Let's say in this case, guys, for example, you zero at the little plate. What does the back of the bag say is one serving? Eight. 28 grams. And right there, you put one more. That's 28 grams. I'm gonna put one more just for shits and giggles. <laughs> how many pretzels Natalie should be able to eat? And she's consuming carbs, no protein, 110 calories. Right. This is gonna be a little like a snack, but I'm just gonna put it under lunch. Told me my remaining calories, and this is what I've had this morning. This gave me a lot of anxiety in the beginning. It honestly stressed me out. Numbers freaked me out, but once I started utilizing it, I realized this just gives me freedom. So for example, for chicken, I wasn't eating enough chicken. We were usually under. We would lose weight, but it weight in muscle, and then I'd be like, why am I losing muscle? Why am I gaining fat? Matter of fact, sometimes Dennis and I will look at each other in the mirror naked, and we'll be like, damn, we found the secret. <laughs> Like the weight loss because we've lost so much weight. We used to suffer and exercise and exert ourselves so much. And what we realized is food is a huge part of it. I ran a lot. You did. Like 45, 50 miles per week. And I wouldn't lose weight. And no one really teaches you what the proper servings for these things are. Thank you, You're here to My little fluffy kids wanted to say hi. Her, on the other hand, has gained 15 pounds. And that's okay. Create a weekly workout schedule. Oh, we like schedule in our haircut, our work stuff. Schedule in time for you. Every single Sunday, I literally sit down with myself and I write my workout schedule inside my plan to try to move every single day for 45 minutes if not three times a week for high intensity classes and then the other two more like leisure climbing or I'm swimming or I'm in the jacuzzi I'm stretching but I'm moving my body every single day and that just helps me for me it's waking up early it's booking that morning class you got to pay for so it hurts your wallets <laughs> one little hack that I have found is I enjoy watching YouTube videos so very much I love watching like long ass vlogs so I'll just hop on the treadmill and warm up for like 15 minutes maybe 10 and 
there you go. I've already burned, I don't know, like 70 calories without even thinking about it. I made it my mission to organize my workout gear into a very beautiful, colorful section. And then I'll put my little workout clothes in the little corner. Before I brush my teeth, I'm aware I'm gonna be waking up, going to the gym, charge my Apple Watch, and then we got this whole little routine system going for my night routine so that I'm aware that in the morning I am waking up and working out my body. Also, Dennis, super random, my armpits look like crap. Dennis was waxing them on TikTok. Anyway, here's an Amazon gift card for you. I just wanted to give back to you guys for watching my videos, so if you redeem it, you get to keep it. Basically, if you're here within the first 30 minutes that every video goes live, you might get the chance to win. So make sure you're here early. We are both waiting for Dennis to make us launch right Jupiter. It is lunchtime and I'm freaking having fries. See, this is not about being restrictive at all. This is about being up. No, just kidding. That's the same thing abundant. One of my biggest mistakes before was not respecting meal times. I felt like I didn't really fully eat breakfast, lunch, dinner, and snacks. Usually we eat more. More. I actually did a half serving of, of chicken just because I'm going on my long bike ride. I feel like before we were restrictive. I had a lot of stuff that I didn't like. Just because Me I thought I haven't had a salad since. And I like salad. And also have this stuff. See, I never thought I could have fries. I mean, potatoes are actually really good if you actually use them for fuel. These are the healthy swaps. Even like the ketchup. This ketchup is five calories, right? It's all these little swaps that you could do in your These meals. fries are fat free. Or like chicken breast <laughs> as opposed to chicken thigh. Mental shift that we had was eating more protein and food. Like all, all the time. All the time. Whereas before, I would do a lot of high carb fruits. I used to have a lot of fruit, which I love. This keeps me fuller for longer. So we grocery shop on Sunday, prioritizing that, and I canceled my Uber Eats app. Well, I download it every once in a while. <laughs> and then full serving for everything else? Uh, full serving of shrimp and full serving of the fries. Wow, this was only 100? That's amazing. It was only 225. Yeah. That's awesome. That's why I did my workout, because I work out to eat. Here are some of my personal favorite snacks that I gravitate towards, just in case you need some ideas. Premier Pro, love this stuff. Has really high amounts of protein, good amount of calories, 160, one gram of sugar, literally just five grams of carbs. This is awesome. We usually have this during lunch. I love the chocolate and I love the peanut butter and I love the strawberries and cream. I love them all. Little hack for your coffee. You could use the salted caramel one. Little coffee mix and it tastes so good. Chips, I love these. These are the best. Dennis doesn't really like the, the taste of them, but to each their own, you gotta find what works for you. Nacho cheese, really love these. Chips gal, so I want things that feel like chips. Seaweed chips? Teriyaki. One of the best protein bars I have ever had. They're just delicious. Literally. Mm. Sometimes when you just need a little bit of chocolate, I cut it up and I have it. Not really like a snack, but just a great butter replacement. It tastes really creamy and delicious. I usually split one of these in half. Add this to a tortilla, egg, and your sandwich. We'll go out and we won't deprive ourselves. Went to meal. Cheesecake Factory recently. Yeah. I mean, like, we'll literally eat out. We'll have Taco Bell. If you want to have Taco Bell, we'll make modifications in the day. The morning we have a lighter breakfast because we will know like oh we'll have about a thousand calories in Taco Bell we'll have to readjust the rest of our day so we can still meet either our deficit or stay on par with the weight that we're at. Do you want to join me on this little heart to heart? Always brings a stinky ass toy. Or move the booty unless you're gonna have a heart to heart with them. I've been struggling with my weight for a few years now starting with my implants. It took a huge toll on my weight because I had a bunch of thyroid issues. I physically couldn't lose weight. I couldn't really stabilize my hormones. Secondly, I just kept falling into a big amount of depression. Is that related to to work or to life circumstances. I know when I passed, I gained about 20-ish pounds, the heaviest I had ever been. To the point where I remember going into New Year's, like, you know, the New Year's party, you wanna like dress up and literally nothing in my closet fit. So I went to my New Year's party, I remember in these yellow bright ass workout pants that used to be loose on me and now weren't. If you're struggling, I know what you're going through. I know how difficult it is. I think about my entire journey. I realized I didn't have a strong enough why at some point I thought I wanted to lose weight because I thought I wanted to have children and I wanted to be healthy after a lie passed I no longer had that motivation and so I gained weight I feel like my why became just like finding peace and happiness again and so going to the gym gave me that being with friends and the community gave me that I also struggled a lot with being really restrictive with myself I remember going to bed like super hungry and waking up just like like ravenously hungry. It also wasn't sustainable. And then I'd go and work out really hard and I wasn't seeing results. I also realized that I can indulge and I can have balance and disbalances, you know? Some nights I'm just like, what the hell? 
I'm just gonna never talk about it. I used to feel guilty about it. Now I'm just like, it's kind of just a part of the process. What? I'm gonna show up for myself again. And I think that's the biggest takeaway is like show up for yourself in whatever way you can. That means literally going out for a five minute walk for a two minute walk. Show up for yourself in that way. My friend once told me this and this kind of changed my life. She was like, sometimes I just come here and I just give it my, my half. <laughs> Like I give it my half amount of willpower. And I'm like, I kind of like that because half my amount of willpower is still more than none of my willpower. I'd rather give them half than none. And those little halves become little baby steps that are incremental and they change you. I do want to let you know that you can do it and I love you very much and I'm sending you lots of love. We'll chat. I love you. Sending you lots of love. Oh, kissy attack. Quick kissy attack. Mm, bye. Hello. It's run number two. Uh, it's a day after a really intense soccer Sunday where I think it was almost 105 degrees. It's very nice weather today, very gloomy, no sun, but I'm running with Natalie and Jupiter today. Oh, I so, was there. Every time I went run with other people. It was a day where we took Jupiter out on a run and passed out. And then we found he, he, out. He wasn't used to running and he was just not taking him. And then he liked making him a part of things. And then we found out he has arthritis. I always run a lot slower because I don't want to outrun people too bad but she's in the I want to lose weight mode also and I want to promote that so taking it a little slightly easier it's gonna be cool it's gonna be awesome of attitude 365 days and it's been like five or six of straight healthy eating I'll start implementing some recordings of my healthy eating as well I just had a golden beet carrot lunch slash dinner Ew. Thing. <laughs>